Good day, my name is James McCormick and welcome to Redwood Sleep Center. Uh, we're just going to be explaining how to set up for a polysomnographic uh, sleep study. Uh, basically, first what we're going to do is we're just going to hook them up to all different uh, sorts of leads. We'll be looking at uh, brain waves, eye movements, muscle movements, respiratory, your heart, your oxygen saturation, your blood, then also limb movements. All right, and the first part is just a monitoring period. We're just going to hook you up to all the different leads and basically just monitor the function of your sleep. Mainly what I'll be looking at tonight is your respiratory to see if you have apneas, which is when you stop breathing, or if you have what they call hypopneas, which is shallow breathing, which is usually related to snoring. And the first part's a minimum of two hours. We're basically going to set you up, uh, look and see, look at your uh, sleep, and basically if you show a certain number of the uh, apneas or the hypopneas, you're qualified for what they call CPAP. And what CPAP is, is a machine that hooks up to a tube, that hooks up to a mask that either goes over your nose, in your nose, or over your nose and mouth. And it stands for continuous positive airway pressure. It's a non-stop flow of air pressure, and all it does is just if something's physically blocking your airway, it just pushes it open and keeps it open so you can breathe. And so yeah, if you qualify for it in the first part, we'll wake you up briefly, put the CPAP mask on, that I'll be showing you later. And then for the rest of the study, we do what we call titrating, which is you'll start at a low pressure that he'll try, and then as he requires more pressure to clear his obstruction, we'll gradually bump him up till he reaches his optimal pressure, and that's when he can breathe consistently throughout the night.